days. Today we will be looking at reading unit one, lesson three. Our learning target says, I can monitor my own comprehension while I read. And comprehension just means understanding. So it really says, I can monitor my own understanding while I read. For today, we will learn how to stop, think, and read tell. Let's get started. It says, readers need to be careful not to get going, reading faster and faster and forget to think about the story. They can keep tabs by stopping to make sure they can retell the events of the story in order. So friends, I'm pretty sure we can think of a time where we read a book super duper fast. We read through the whole thing and then we got to the end and realized we have no idea what this book was about. And that's something we wanna work on because not only is it important that yes, we are trying to read faster, we're reading more challenging words and more challenging texts, while those things are important, we can't forget that the most important part of reading is enjoying and understanding the story. So we need to make sure that when we're reading, even when we're trying to do it faster and faster, we take a moment to stop and think, what is this story talking about? So when we are reading, we want to be sure to stop, think, and retell. So again, let's say I've read the first chapter of my book or the first few pages of my book. I want to stop. I want to think about what did I just read? And then I want to actively retell what I just read. Miss Anise is going to explain a little bit more about the five finger retell. I want you to hold five fingers up, five wiggly fingers on your hand, yes? When we're retelling a story, we want to one, using our thumb, tell the setting. Wiggle that thumb for me. So the setting is where the story takes place. So we wanna make sure that we know where is this story happening? Next, the pointer finger, we wanna think about the characters. Who are the people in our stories? The people, the animals, or whoever the characters are. Who are they in our story? And then with the three other wiggly fingers, we want to think about the beginning, the middle, and the end of what we just read. You can add to your five finger retail by using your time words. So when we're talking about the beginning, middle, and the end, we can also think about using those time words. First, next, then, after that, and last. We worked on that in reading, friends, and we can always use that now, all right? So let's practice with Katie Wu has the flu. Miss Anissa will read the book to you, but I want you to think, hmm, where is this story taking place? Who are our characters? And what is happening in the beginning, the middle, and the end? Here we go. Chapter one, ah-choo. Ah-choo, said Katie Wu. Bless you, said her mom. Ah-choo. Katie sneezed again and again and again. I feel funny, said Katie, but not in a fun way. My tummy hurts too. Uh-oh, said her mom. I think you have a bug. Ugh, said Katie. I don't want bugs running around in my tummy. Not that kind of bug, said her mom. A flu bug. Good, said Katie, but I still feel bad. I feel hot too, Katie moaned. Her mom took her temperature. You have a fever, she said. That's why you feel so hot. No school today. You are going back to bed. I feel so hot I might melt, Katie moaned. Don't worry, her mom assured her. You're not ice cream, you won't melt. I'm so glad, said Katie. So now friends, we're gonna stop. I want you to take a second to think, pause this video if you want a second to think, and then we're gonna retell our story. So again, you wanna stop, think, and then we'll retell our story. Now, 
If you've taken a moment, you paused this video and you took a moment to think about the story, now we're gonna work on retelling. So, where does this story take place? Katie's at home. And who are our characters? Katie Wu and her mom. So when I'm thinking of what happens in the story, first, next, then, after that, and last, I'd say first, Katie Wu was sneezing. She was sick. Next, Katie Wu told her mom that she wasn't feeling good. Then, Katie Wu's mom said she must have a flu bug. After that, Katie Wu's mom took her temperature and found out that Katie was sick. Last, Katie Wu's mom told her she was not going to school and that she had to stay home because she was sick. That's us stopping, thinking, and retelling our story. Now it's your turn to try. Remember to stop, think, and retell. I want you to try with your own book, friends, whatever your book you're reading at the moment. I want you to stop, think, and then retell your story as you read it. Good luck, friends.